We're talking about vaping with Robin Gers, Certified Tobacco Treatment Specialist here at Children's of Alabama. So Robin, tell me a little bit about what are some of the dangers of vaping for teenagers? We have enough research now to show us that the ingredients in the e-liquids are extremely harmful. We have carcinogenic um, as well as heavy metals in the e-liquids. And then there's nicotine. Nicotine is a highly addictive drug and it really causes havoc uh, to a young person's brain um, as they're developing. But it's obviously a very tempting product uh, for teenagers to use. What is your advice to them for how they can avoid it? Mm -hmm. We feel like they're not, the harms are not clearly out there. And the more we can talk about the facts, even though they might be a little scary, we know that um, our teens are smart and we believe if they know the truth about the harms that they will choose to live a tobacco-free, vape-free life. And obviously the best option is to not start vaping in the first place, but unfortunately some teenagers do start. What if they have started? How do they get help? So um, find a trusted adult, someone they can talk to, um, and then maybe a pediatrician needs to be involved in the discussion, especially if the teen is experiencing health harms like um, chest pain, uh, problems breathing, which we do see early on as someone begins vaping. Um, also surrounding themselves with a support system that will support them in a healthy lifestyle. Um, those are all great ways finding uh, habits or um, a hobby to replace the activity um, is also a really good way to stay focused on healthy living. Very important to make sure our teenagers stay away from vaping and stay as safe and healthy as they can be. For more information, go to childrensal.org.